So now we will look at the line of intersection of the two planes. So x plus 2y plus 3z plus 4 equal to 0 and the other plane is 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 5 equal to 0. So now we have two planes. So Two x plus three y plus four z plus five equal to zero. So we want to find the line of intersection of these two planes. So if these two planes are like this, we'll get a line. So this line we are looking at. So if I want to find this line, what I'll do is I'll consider the line as x minus x one by a one is equal to y minus y one by b one, z minus z one by c one. As a plane, see, let us say if I see the plane, so this line is belonging to this plane, so it means so the drs of the line and the drs of the normal to the plane are perpendicular because the normal is perpendicular to all the lines in this plane. So, a1, b1, c1 dot drs of the normal are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 equal to 0. This is with respect to the first plane. With respect to the second plane a 1 b 1 c 1 dot minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 equal to 0. Because why we are writing minus is because minus x minus 2 y minus 3 z is equal to 4 and minus 2 x minus 3 y minus 4 z is equal to 5. Because when we are writing distance on R H S it should be positive always. So, a 1 b 1 c 1 a vector is perpendicular to two other vectors. It means it is perpendicular to I mean it is along the direction of cross product of the two vectors. So, a 1 b 1 c 1 is equal to lambda into minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 cross minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. So, if I do the cross product, so i j k minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. So, i into so the data minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 minus j into data minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 plus k into data minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3. So, it will be i into 8 minus 9 minus j into 4 minus 6 plus k into 3 minus 4. So, this is minus i, this is plus 2 j minus k. So, this is what we got. So, a 1 b 1 c 1 is equal to lambda into minus 1 2 minus 1 and then I want point on the line. So, x 1 y 1 z 1 lies on both the planes. So, x 1 plus 2 y 1 plus 3 z 1 plus 4 is equal to 0 and 2 x 1 plus 3 y 1 plus 4 z 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. So, I have two equations but three variables. So, if I want to solve, so what I will do is I will eliminate one variable. So, I will I am making z 1 equal to 0. So, if I make z 1 equal to 0, these two lines should not be parallel to each other. So, x 1 plus 2 y 1 plus 4 is equal to 0, 2 x 1 plus 3 y 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. So, now these two are not parallel, right? So, it is fine. So, we will find x 1 y 1. So, by eliminating, okay, let us say x 1 is equal to minus 2 y 1 minus 4. So, 2 into minus 2 y 1 minus 4 plus 3 y 1 plus 5 is equal to 0 minus y 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. So, y 1 is equal to minus 3. So, I got y 1 equal to minus 3. So, x 1 will be minus 2 y 1 minus 4. So, it will be 6 minus 4. So, it is 2. So, the point I got is 2 minus 3 0. So, finally, the line is x minus 2 by minus 1 is equal to y minus of minus 3 by 2 z minus 0 by minus 1 or I can make x 1 equal to 0 and I will find y 1 z 1. So, I will substitute here 0 and y 1 z 1 here. 
or I can make y 1 0 x 1 z 1 I can find it. So, this line can be expressed in three two other forms I can make x 1 also 0 y 1 also 0. So, we cannot make two both of them to be I mean x 1 y 1 at the same time to be 0. So, we will make only one variable 0 and then we will find the point and then we will substitute in the line. So, this is the required line equation of those two planes.